here, what we have uh, with Phantom, right, is um, basically it broke out here at about 52 cents. My minimum target, if because uh, I did recognize this bottom here as a head and shoulders bottom, which would bring us to about 83 cents, which is right in this next region here. Um, and if we do an extension on this, should it break out? So 83 cents is right between that 0.55 and 0.618 FIB uh, level. So that's where you could get resistance. So, okay. Um, in terms of timing, right, we said basically between now and a week from now, the next one week, that's your first area to look for. Okay, can Bitcoin beat 65,500? If it can't, right, then you probably have Bitcoin struggling around that 60 to 65,000. And then you have uh, this coming up to like that 80 to 86 uh, cents. Then if Bitcoin is struggling there, right, then you take some profit you don't have to sell everything because obviously you want long-term bags but anything you are um basically uh what do you call it uh looking to trade right then that's the first area of time and price you would consider on something specifically like phantom right um you could see it go up to like towards a dollar but i would say uh to get phantom towards a dollar again you would likely need bitcoin to be challenging that sixty-eight thousand dollars Right. So if Bitcoin challenges 68, maybe $70,000, then yeah, you might get phantom up here at a dollar. If that happens though, then Bitcoin likely has been pumping then into that October 6th period, which is your day 30, the midpoint of your cycle, which means then you're not bearish. You're either neutral or bullish only in October. And if you're neutral on something like phantom in October, kind of at that case, worst, worst case scenario, in my opinion, is you'd be mostly uh, compounding between about 50 cents here uh, to a dollar. That would be then your accumulation range there into the second half of October. If it, you know, if Bitcoin can't pass 68,000. And then when it does pass 68,000 uh, in November, right, then this will be breaking out past a dollar. And the next target here is about a dollar 80, right? And if you look at this compared to its long term play here, right, then you'd expect it to go towards, well, you can look at the extensions off of this move here, and then you can do the retracement from the top to the bottom. Look at the overlap there. Yeah, that has a pretty good overlap right there at that last area of resistance before new all-time highs, which would be 275, right? So that would be, okay, if you got real bullish in October and then we got bullish in November, December, we had two right translated cycles in a row, that would be your end of quarter probably target for Phantom would be about 275. It's currently 66 cents. That would be a really nice move um, there within the month and your lower target would probably be about a dollar eighty to a dollar to two dollars, dollar eighty to two dollars. Um, so that would be your uh target if we did beat a dollar here then in that October phase. So if you got Bitcoin going to seventy thousand dollars right in October and you got this maybe peaking past a dollar, you get a little bit of a pullback here to maybe like 80, 90 cents, right? Last time under a dollar for that, then uh towards the election, and then you really rip here either to $1.80 or 280 basically, um, by the end of the quarter, right? So um, that's kind of where you want to look at for time and price 